Hey everybody, welcome to the premiere of True Pride Gaming. I'm Eton, and today I would like to share with you Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow. It's game number two in the Splinter Cell series brought to you by Ubisoft and the reason why I would like to share this with you is to celebrate uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist which uh, is amazing I'm sure I don't have it or I'd be playing it but this will have to do for me and I think I think anybody who watches this will really enjoy it so uh, yeah let's let's get the show on the road then alright so Splinter Cell Pandora tomorrow is uh, like I said an older game for the uh, Splinter Cell series but um, I played it way back, maybe a year after it first came out, and I really enjoyed it, actually. And uh, honestly, it's one of my more, it's one of my favorites in the series because uh, this was back when stealth was still still a real big aspect of the game, where if you get spotted, you fail. Um, I really think that Double Agent was the last game in the series to really emphasize on stealth. I played uh, Splinter Cell Conviction, and honestly with that game, even in the multiplayer, you could really just run and gun the entire time and not really have it affect your gameplay too much. Um, you could really just turn that game into a third person shooter. And I didn't like that aspect as much, they didn't really uphold the need for stealth in the series um, but uh, yeah this one's this one's actually a really good one and like I said it's older and we are breaking out of handcuffs I guess uh, it's been a long time since I played this game so bear with me if I'm not moving fast enough for anyone uh, if it gets too if it gets too it extraneous, I'll try to cut it. Well, I wasn't very good in simulation. The NSA just called me. We have a problem in East Timor. What kind of problem? A big one. I don't want to talk over the cutscenes too much. Just so you guys can get a feel for the story better. What is Douglas doing here? That's exactly what you have to find out, sir. Um, so the bearded guy with, uh, overly green eyes is Sam Fisher. So I'm sure fans of the series are really familiar with Sam Fisher. Uh, anybody new to the series, like Conviction or uh, Blacklist or anything beyond that, because who knows when you're watching this, actually. Uh, the black man was Lambert, who is uh, Sam's boss the in the old days. Just some backstory there. Um, we got some Let's work tutorial on here in the beginning. Your gun should always be your last resort. Invisibility is your best weapon. We've got a network of photocells on your suit connected to a visibility meter on your offset. If the meter's at three, you're lit up like Times Square. Um, I'll try to keep this rolling as quickly as I can. Uh, I don't want to leave too much awkward silence. Um, actually the game's really fun to play and even I enjoy watching it, especially if the person doesn't know what they're doing completely, because it's just, it gets goofy. But uh, yeah, the acrobatics in this game are pretty cool, you can climb on just about anything. It's not too linear, um, it could be worse but you, you 
retain your options more than in a lot of like first person shooter games nowadays um and a lot of first person shooters you know is they tell you to shoot all these guys then you got to move on and <laughs> honestly it's really lame <clears throat> uh I keep my controls different from the tutorials, so it's not really helping me out too much. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, uh... You know. It's what happens when you decide to be a rebel and change your controls up from what the game wants it to be. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it is... As far as I remember, this game is just overall badass stealth rank 10. Because, I mean, come on, Sam Fisher, SAM stands for Secret Agent Man in my book. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be a Secret Agent Man? Before you infiltrate the embassy, let me reintroduce D.P. Brunton, our interagency consultant. He's got an update for the mission. I'll keep it brief. I'm sure you know I'm excited to be part of the team. The Joint Chiefs want this mission kept non-lethal and alarms at flat zero. We can't endanger like the hostages. 14. Understood. And with some due respect, leave anything Lambert can say to Lambert. I don't want the voices in my head to become a crowd. Get inside the embassy. The situation is delicate and largely unknown. So walk softly. Um, anyway, sorry about that. The camera started blinking at me, so I had to check some settings. But everything should be working fine, hopefully. Uh, if this isn't recording, it'd be really fucking embarrassing, because, believe it or not, it takes a lot of time to get this all configured correctly to have everything running at the same time. <laughs> but I get to be back to sneaky wall crawling man. Look, a guy. Finally. Some action. Don't even know how long we are into this video. Just now we get some action. But better late than never, right? I get to grab him. Man hug. Come here, buddy. Let's go this way. So I don't know if you can see it. There's a little bar there above where my gun is. And, uh... It goes from, like, a lighter shade of gray to dark gray on the left side. That's my light meter. And, uh... And this one, unlike the newer ones, you can actually hide bodies. I don't know if they reinstated that in Blacklist, but I hated that you couldn't hide bodies in Conviction. Because that's a big part of the whole stealth aspect. I mean, if you're, you know, sneaking around and killing people and you can't have anyone know that you're there, you gotta... Thermal vision. Sorry. You gotta be able to, you know hide the fact that you were there. I should probably turn on my thermal and see what's going on. Blinky ground lights. Sure, that's something fun. I don't know. I don't see anything there. Looks like the only place for me to go. And... Alright, whatever. Well, fuck. You could have warned me before I walked into that, you know. It would have been nice to have a warning. See, my viewers are nice and friendly. Just wanted me to walk into that, didn't you? How the fuck do I get past this? What? Uh, I see the box. Climb up on the box. I wonder if I can grab that. Yes! Progress! 
can't even imagine how many of you are already laughing at me that I died maybe 10 minutes into the game. I don't know if you're not recording a video, probably like three minutes into the game. Yeah, keep an eye out for more of those fucking blinky lights. That was bullshit. <laughs> what? Where do I go? No hints or anything? Is there a door? Ah, split jump. See, so many things that they took out of all the newer ones that should have stayed. Just the fun stuff that you can do. You know, you crawl in an alley, you should be able to hang on the wall somewhere and drop down on people from above, right? It makes sense, doesn't it? But no. Grimm's found you a back door. Avoid the main gate at all cost. Blueprints show an ornamental stream running beneath the entrance. Looks like a viable way in. A little wet's better than a little dead. That stream's your way in, even if it means moving slowly to minimize your noise level. Fisher, be careful. This village is a walk in the park compared to what needs to be done inside the embassy. I think I remember someone in the beginning saying that I can't kill anyone, so... I'm gonna see if I can sneak past this guy. Did he see me already? He's looking straight at me. No, I guess not. Oh, uh, what do you think? Man hug? I think it's about time for another little bout of bro love. <laughs> I think I can just knock people out too, like just punch them in the face. I don't know. What do you think? Oh shit, what? Be careful, Fisher. Your use of stealth you, is birds. crucial to this operation. Wait, is that light coming out of his forehead? He's not even holding a flashlight. Oh, there's no light now. Oh, yeah, there it is. Come here. Let's go find a dark corner. <laughs> And on top of the fact that you have to hide the bodies, you can always have a little fun with the fact that you get to drag them off into a dark, secluded corner <laughs> while they're knocked out. They could have easily slipped Rahifnal references into these games. Uh, it'd just be too much. <laughs> Don't know if anyone's ever seen the movie movie Human Centipede. This is a terrible freaking movie, but my favorite line is still uh, the creepy German dude going, Rohifnar, rip drop. He just says it straight up too, like <laughs> The situation is getting worse care. in the embassy. <laughs> they seem to be killing hostages now. I've got a man in my way, Lambert. How flexible is my zero fatality mandate? As a rock. In fact, we want you to make a new friend. From your onboards, that man looks like one of Sedano's lieutenants. <clears throat> Interrogate him. Find out what he knows about Sedano's defense parameters. The chatter we're sifting sounds bad, but lacks specifics. Details on your opsat. This should be fun. Man hug. Let's walk over here, where it's dark. If the character has any useful information, the interrogate interaction will appear. Select this interaction to force the character to talk. Why not? I need information. I... I don't speak English. I'd be willing to bet your neck that you do. I know a little English. Good to hear. I'm going inside to meet your friends. Anything I need to worry about? They have guns. He's so I'm friendly. shocked and amazed. What else? <laughs> My men planted the mines on our way out. We had to escort uh, to defend the village. 
Escort who? Nothing. Escort who? Ah! Nobody. I, I made a mistake. Escort who? Ah! I don't know his name. Somebody important to Sedano. He's got an American accent and one of his legs is fake. A bald man with dead eyes. A fake leg. Yes. Go ahead and kill me. That's all I know. It's a great description. He's bald and he's got dead eyes. Valum, you there? Could describe so many people. You have some light. Valum, you hear me? Oh, and I apologize for the lack of subtitles. I've looked. There's no option. Oh shit. There's no. There's no subtitle option for this game other than what's already provided. Um. I wish there was more I could do, but. I don't really have any options. That was easy. <laughs> so many people to hide. Being attacked by a fly. Sorry. It's bothering me. Um, what? There's no door in here, what the fuck? What's this? What is that? Is that a chicken? Who just leaves an entire... Where'd they cook it? There's an entire roast chicken on the table. I'm gonna shoot it. Oh, that looks healthy. Am I the only one saying this? Like, is it a lag for me? I don't know. We'll see. But the chicken's definitely throwing off sparks. That's... I would eat that chicken. <laughs> Leave a comment. What would, would you eat the chicken? I would. It looks tasty. <laughs> Sparky chicken. Great A fireworks. <laughs> uh, if it was enough time, this will probably be where I end the first episode of my Splinter Cell Let's Play. So, thanks, and I'll see you next time. Uh, leave a like if you like the video, and subscribe if you want more. Um, if you didn't like the video, then do whatever you want, because you probably didn't watch the whole thing. Peace.